Hello and welcome to this tutorial in After Effects. I'm Louisa Winters. Today I would like to continue talking about keyframes. So we're going to keyframe different things uh, in conjunction with position. Let's get to it. Alrighty, so as you already know, you can zoom in and out of the timeline by pressing the plus and the minus keys on your main keyboard. We already know that we can speed up the interpolation, that's the word of it, if we put the keyframes closer together in time, so that it takes less time to go from point A to point B. Alrighty. And we also saw that the path, these position keyframes, are represented in the comp panel by these dots. These dots represent frames, or as I like to call them, moments in time. So here we go. If I click on the word position, my keyframes get highlighted. In other words, they turn blue. That is my visual indication that I have selected them. And I can copy Command-C on the Mac, Control-C on Windows. I can then place my playhead where I want to paste, and I can paste. So now, this clip is going to go left, right, left, right and I can keep on copying and pasting, et cetera, et cetera. So I can copy and paste, I can adjust the speed of these keyframes. See how I can move them one at a time? And now it's gonna go left, right, left, right a lot quicker, right? Or I can click the word position to select all of them, and this works if I have four keyframes or if I have 4,000 keyframes, and then I can click on one and move it. This is moving its time position. So now it's going to start going left, right, left, right, starting at around four seconds. If what I want to do is speed or slow down the whole thing proportionally, I can press and hold the Option key, that's Alt on Windows, and I can click on the first or the last keyframe and notice how they are separating or becoming closer together like an accordion. If I release them and then move them to the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and play that, it's going considerably faster. So I can copy and paste keyframes. I can also press and hold Alt, that's Option on the Mac, to proportionally change the time distance in between the keyframes. In other words, the speed of change or interpolation. Alrighty, let's continue. Imagine that I want to keyframe scale at the same time that I want to keyframe position. That's perfectly fine because I can use J and K to change where my playhead is and at those moments in time I could keyframe scale. So I can keyframe scale there, press K, it moves to the next keyframe, I can change the value of scale and I can now copy scale, press K to move the keyframe even further down the line, and now I can paste. So all I have to do now is click and drag this keyframe so that it's right under the other one. And I can do that by clicking and dragging and then pressing the Shift key, and you're going to see how that keyframe is going to snap to where it needs to be. And that's kind of cool. I can do that with any other property. So we're doing this with transform properties, but in all honesty, it's, it's good for anything that is keyframable. All you need to do is move the playhead to the point in time where you want to start or finish or alter something, and then either copy and paste or keyframe however you want. So here we go. I'll do it with rotation. So now my playhead is for sure on top of the existing keyframes that I have in the timeline. So now all I have to do is click on the stopwatch to the left of the word rotation, and now I have a keyframe for rotation. I'll press the letter K, my playhead moves, and now I can adjust rotation. I can now copy those two keyframes, press the letter K, paste, and I can adjust this last keyframe by clicking and dragging, and then as I drag, pressing and holding the Shift key. That will make sure that the keyframes snap to one another so that the change occurs exactly at the same time. Alrighty, don't forget, you can select all of these keyframes, you can press and hold Option, which is Alt on Windows, and you can change the rate of change proportional to each other of all of these 
at the same time. It is the alt key that makes him act like an accordion. So you can proportionally make all of your rates of change faster and or slower. And there you go. It is rotating, moving to the right, and changing scale all at the same time. All right, this brings me to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you next time.